Um, and so Guild Group has been phenomenally successful. Um, can you talk about how you, you know, sort of started that? And, sure. And yeah, it was uh, three and a half years ago. Actually, four years ago, almost this month, uh, I decided to, to start it. And I knew this model had worked in multiple places in Europe. Yeah. And I just couldn't figure out why no one was doing it here. Yeah. Uh, and so I couldn't figure out a way, so I started the company. Mm -hmm. And uh, focused in the beginning on really just women's fashion for the mm -hmm. first six months. And then realized that it applied in many other areas. So expanded very quickly into men's, home, kids. And then realized that uh, travel could work as well. Yeah. So I launched Jet Setter. So, so you, I mean, the, the value proposition to the user is clear. I mean, mm -hmm. to, to the customer is clear, right? You, yeah. get, you get stuff for half the price or yep. something, right? Um, yeah. What, what is the, what, why do brands like it? So brands like it um, for two reasons. There's some brands that just need to sell their merchandise somewhere, and mm -hmm. so they, they, they can sell to us, they can get some money. But that's actually not the primary thing. Mm -hmm. The real reason brands uh, use it is for marketing. So if I said to you, uh, look, Oprah Winfrey wants to use your, you know, wear your shirt on the show tomorrow. How do you feel about that? You'd say, oh, my God, that's going to that's going to help our business so much. Mm. Well, if I said to you, well, Gilt's going to have your jewelry brand on the site and it's going to show to millions of people. And by the way, 75 percent have never heard of your brand mm. and they're going to see it in an environment where it's next to some high end brands that they recognize. It's going to be beautifully photographed on beautiful models mm. and they're going to feel good about it. Is that better for you than selling at an outlet mall, you yeah. know, where things are falling on the ground? It's a lot better. Yeah. We have people now coming to us and giving us the product for free, right. just so it can be on Guild. Um, but that only happens once you've established, which you have established yeah. sort of a premium brand and scale. Yeah. Initially, like, as I understand it, it's sort of like the brands want to, they have excess inventory, right? And this is why outlet yeah. malls exist, right? They, they basically want to get rid of excess inventory without... Um, degrading their brand. They want to be apart from their brand, so not on the same site. Yeah. And, but they, but what it was essential, and this is the key thing we did differently, is mm -hmm. we present it in a way that is uh, enhancing for the brand. I see. So, you know, in our first sales, and it's, it worked in retrospect, but at the beginning you can imagine, we were going to make $4,000, you know, for us on a sale, and I spent $7,000 on the photo shoot. Mm, and so you'd say, that's not a good business model. Mm. But what happened was the brands loved it, the customers loved it, so every single week I could see another 10, 20, 30,000 people signing up mm -hmm. to be a member, and then the scale got to be big, and so now we sell $100,000, $200,000, $300,000 worth of, uh, of uh, material on, on, on a sale. Interesting. And then Jet Setter, so that's, you spend it to travel, and, and I guess the, the travel companies had similar issues of sort Absolutely. of excess inventory? And same issues and want to market. So, mm -hmm. you know, we have hundreds of thousands of people that have signed up just for Jet Setter. They're passionate about traveling, mm -hmm. think about it all the time, and they want to see uh, great resorts nicely presented. Mm -hmm. And so a couple rooms that are available just for, you know, a couple days on this on the site yeah. is enormously brand enhancing for those hotels. Okay. So uh, it's the same dynamic because, you know, by the way, that value goes down to zero. You know, you don't sell that hotel room, you get nothing. Yeah, yeah. So anything where they're sort of... Uh Ex potentially excess inventory, and they're sensitive to sort of the brand yes. and 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 enhancing it as opposed to you know um, selling that as excess inventory while enhancing the brand. So yeah. there are probably other verticals. I'm sure when you sort of analyze all the verticals, you sort of those are the key those are the key yes. characters you look for. Yeah, the things we don't want to be in are things like uh, just books. You know, it's a commodity market. You yeah. want the name of a book, you can buy it. We're not going to do a better job there. Yeah. But in the things where you know photography is important, quality is important, brand is important. Couldn't like art work for this? Maybe Absolutely. Okay. So the whole home area is a big area for us, mm -hmm. uh, and art is a part of that. Mm -hmm. um, so that's been very good. Uh, local events, so you know, selling restaurants and spas and things like that. Yeah. Not necessarily at a discount always. You know, in Guilt City, we're selling experiences you just can't get elsewhere. Yeah. Um, so that's another area, and I think there are other verticals as well. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we'll be launching um, uh, tomorrow. Uh, guilt, uh, guilt taste, which mm. is gourmet food. Oh, interesting. And what's interesting about that is it's not discount. Oh. We do a lot. So it's full price. It's full price. Mm. So what we're finding is that a lot of our consumers really like guilt, not just for the for the discounts, but mm. because of the curation. Because it's overwhelming if you have a thousand suits to choose from. Yeah. In fact, most people, a lot of guys, just turn off. It's sort of paradox of choice. This book, yeah. you know, that if you have this thing, if you have too many choices, you end up buying nothing. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. And so, if you trust the brand yeah. that they're they're giving you great choices, and we do full price sales, twenty five percent of jet setter now is full price. Hmm. Because sometimes you come in as a consumer and you think, you know what, I've got a wedding in the Bahamas, I've got to go to the Bahamas. Yeah. Love a discount, but that's not my key issue here. I just got, I need a hotel room. Yeah. And I think that guilt. Uh, that, uh, that Jet Setter presents it better with independent reviews 
better than I think I can find on Expedia or things like that where there's 500 hotels. Yeah. So you guys just like sky, the Guild Group just seemed to come out of nowhere and skyrocket to being a giant company. Um, and I think you like sort of like a Groupon or something had, it felt like every like 500 competitors pop up. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. How have you dealt with that? Um, you know, how have you stayed ahead of that? So there, there are fewer competitors in the clothing area yeah. than there are in the travel area or the uh, experiences, services like area. Like has something, right, in the travel yeah. and some other uh, yeah. companies. Right? It's much easier to set up travel or services because you don't need a warehouse. I see. Once you have a warehouse with technology, with systems that tie, then it narrows down the number of people who do it. Okay. But having said that, yeah, there are a bunch of competitors, and, and a number of us started at the same time. So Hot Look uh, ideally started before us. Yeah. Um, we just grew much faster uh, and now have 700 employees. So we're generally two, three, four times larger than any one of our competitors. And uh, and you think you've just done that through better product, better marketing, or I mean, how have you stayed ahead? Yeah, you know, a lot of it where the experience is from DoubleClick. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, not everyone has built a company from zero to 2,000 people in four years. Mm -hmm. And so it's it's not trivial to do and do well. And so it's, it's hiring great people, it's yeah. executing, it's making decisions, what to do, what not to do. You know, there are category things. We haven't done it at, at uh, Gilt yet. We haven't gone international that aggressively. Yeah. Um, we haven't gone mass market. Um, you know, try to remain focused but while rolling out the categories. Um, and I think it's just, it's just execution. I mean, right. I find in general, I tell every entrepreneur that the idea is not that valuable. Mm -hmm. You know, if it is a good idea, there'll be five other people doing it in four months anyway. Mm -hmm. You know, what it is is execution. Execution is hiring great people, managing them well, and moving quickly.